Okay, when exporting bill of materials uh, from Creo to Excel with NitroBomb, uh, sometimes you may want some additional information, and this is where the parameter maps have some special tricks up their sleeves. So uh, I'm going to populate with the current property uh, list or the parameter list of the active model that's in here. And let's just get rid of some of this stuff because we just, I don't really need all this information to come out. I don't want to distract uh, with uh, too much information here. But we're going to leave the, the data as it is. And of course, if we hit apply parameter map, it's going to, of course, export and limit the data that's written to Excel to uh, that content that is there, as we can see. Now, uh, we could also come in and in this uh, pull down, we have some special options. So if we're interested in the current material file associated with the uh, uh, H model, even though we have a material parameter, this will actually get the material file that is currently set in the model. Um, let's say that we're interested in the, the uh, bounding box volume, maybe the current units that are in the model, and maybe the current mass units that are in the model. So uh, by adding those special parameters in, we're going to augment our standard structured reports to include those. These will not show up in the all params report uh, because they are extract read-only values, but they will show up over here. Now, because we're dealing with a parameter map, we can, of course, rearrange uh, the data. So if we want mass and uh, length units to occur, let's say, after um, uh, drawn by, uh, let's move description up here. Uh, after there, and let's say that uh, we want this to be a different name. So we'll say uh, units like this, uh, and let's say that this is um, mass units. Uh, and then let's say the uh, cur material uh, file, we'll just say cur matl. And let's take the um, material parameter and push it down here uh, before this one. And then let's make this uh, uh, OK. So I've got these uh, parameter maps and this reorganization done. Uh, we have our parameter map on export flag set. So we're going to head and export these. And you'll notice that the uh, data that is written uh, puts it in a, a more presentable format so we can kind of see our titles have been changed, our values are being reported, and we can also very clearly see what is the current material uh, being set in the file versus what is being reported for the parameter. That's just a simple change to go synchronize that data with an all params report, basically copy the values from here to here if that's what you want, or use a lookup table or something to kind of um, make that adjustment. But the uh, parameter maps are very, very handy. There are quite a few options that are available up here uh, for special extractions of parameters um, and uh, makes it really easy.